This is yet, and I repeat, yet another example of the trying times we face as a community with this senseless gun violence. LMPD Chief Jacqueline Gwyn Bileroyal addressed the violence early Tuesday morning in the California neighborhood. She says what started as a home break-in quickly escalated into this active scene after police shot a man they say refused to drop his gun. Sherman Lee woke up to see police lights, SWAT cars, and crime tape all from his house down the street. Well, I brought my dogs out the back and looked around and saw police cars on all three ends of the road. It was just after 3.30 Tuesday morning when officers responded to his neighbor's house on Garland Avenue. When they got there, police say they heard gunshots and saw a man coming out of a window with a handgun. Police say he ran down the block with officers chasing after him. Officers gave verbal commands ordering the suspect to drop the gun. The chief says when he didn't drop the gun, officers shot the suspect several times. She says officers then provided aid before paramedics rushed him to U of L hospital. It appears the chase ended on South 26th Street. You can see what looks to be the suspect's gun laying in the middle of the sidewalk. That, plus all sorts of evidence markers, shell casings in the middle of the street, indicate a very chaotic scene. Investigators stayed in the area for hours collecting evidence and talking to neighbors. Every day something happened every day. Every day. But it's everywhere though. Not just in Louisville, but it's everywhere. Chief Gwen Bileroyal says there is body camera video which will be released within 10 business days. In the California neighborhood, Madeline Carter, WLKY News. And